let me say this and try to follow along. This may or may not apply to you, so please hear what I am trying to say. Okay. You cuss. You steal. You fight. You do so many bad things, right? Like you fornicate. You commit adultery. Like you lie so much. Or whatever else. Okay. But you run around looking for fault in people who claim to be Christian. You run around looking for fault in people who hold like as in teachers or someone with rank in the church. Now, do you think teachers, pastors, apostles, or bishops, or whatever else like that, do you think all those people are fault free as in don't make any mistakes like do you think when someone becomes a pastor or something like they become superhuman as in like a new breed of people if that makes any sense. Like, you can cuss, you can fornicate, you can do so many bad things, but if someone, if a pastor or something does something wrong, which I am not saying they should, but if a pastor does something wrong, like, you make it seem like they are beyond, they should be beyond making mistakes. Like they should be beyond doing what is wrong. Aren't we all in the flesh? Didn't we come from Adam and Eve? So if we are in the flesh, aren't we like, won't we make mistakes? Yes. If a person is doing so much wrong, time after time, yes. That person should probably not be a bishop, pastor, or whatever else. But I am saying, like, common mistakes. Like, you see that person doing common things that anyone else probably would do like it's as if you want to go all around the world as it seems figuratively speaking i guess telling people this person is a false prophet or a false teacher because of what wrong they have done not to say they do it every day but how can I say this? Pastors, bishops, apostles, or people with rank like that, they are human too. Yes, if they are doing so much wrong, yes, they probably should not be teaching. But other than that, if, if perfection is the only way a person can teach, then who would be teaching? If you go back in the New Testament, I believe the Apostle Paul admitted 
that he would sin. Now, how many of us is greater than the Apostle Paul? I am not. So if that great man of God sinned, even though he did not want to sin, like who, who am I? So doing every single thing right, yes, it would be good for us to be that way, but I don't think anyone can do every little thing right. So you can't really say a person can't teach if they did something wrong, depending on what it is, I guess. So if you are doing so much wrong, first of all, do you have the right to correct any pastor or anything like that? Do you? Like, if you are constantly fornicating, constantly doing evil, I guess, I guess I can't really say more than usual because <laughs> I think for everyone, it may be different. But if you are doing so much wrong, so much evil, why would you correct anyone? In the sense of things pertaining to God. Like, how can you? Pastors are going to do some things that are wrong. Missionaries, ministers, whatever, may do some things. I believe they all are going to do some things. Pastors and all that stuff there are going to do some things that may be wrong. But does it mean they are false or hypocritical or whatever else. Who can teach, as far as I know, Jesus Christ was in the flesh. Now he did everything perfectly. Other than Jesus Christ, who was in the flesh who the people that are in the flesh now or who were in the flesh other than Jesus Christ, who can do everything perfectly? Who can? Stop beating up on people. Stop trying to spread pastors and whatever people's name all across the internet. I can see if they are like really, really false, like teaching you some stuff that is going to send you to hell. Okay, that may be acceptable there. But I think people like use a magnifying glass looking for someone to mess up. I think that is unnecessary if that be the case. If you are doing so much wrong, have compassion. I believe if you look really deep in my life, you may see some faults in me. I may not do a whole bunch wrong, but I think if you look really deeply at me, Kevin is this, Kevin is that, Kevin is this, Kevin is, and you may be right. But does that make me an evil person? Does that make me like a person that should not advise others? I don't think so. Let me stop here. God bless you.